Okay, so welcome. Uh, we're going to inspect here whether or not airbags uh, lead to fewer deaths in cars. Um, or in particular, whether on average cars with airbags uh, have fewer deaths than cars without them. So as you can see, I've done a nice job and gone ahead and input a bunch of data here into this Excel table. Um, you can thank me later. I did it by hand. Uh, what I want to do here, since we're really interested in comparing two populations, right, one with airbags and uh, one without, it's going to be really important to uh, order, sort the data, um, what, you know, according to whether or not the car has uh, airbags. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take this whole uh, list here. I'm going to cut it by hitting Command X, paste it, just move it down one so that I can label my columns here. I actually find that really helpful. So this is going to be uh, vehicle type. Uh, this is going to be fatalities. And this is going to be airbag. Yes or no? Question mark. Okay, so what we can do now, and, and one of the things that makes Excel a pretty powerful tool is it's really capable of, of sorting. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select this entire, actually really these three columns. So you can hit the down arrow up here. So you hit down, then you can hit shift. Okay, so I've clicked on A, I'm hitting shift, I click on B, I click on C. So now I've selected these three columns. Kind of odd infinitum there. Um, and what you can do is you can hit, uh, you can go up right here to arrange data in ascending or descending order. So it's that little symbol um, right up there. If that doesn't work, um, you can go to data and hit sort. Okay, so either up here or right here. So I'm going to go to data sort because I can. So I'm going to sort by, uh, right, we want to sort yes airbag or no airbag. So I'm going to go to column and since I've labeled the columns, the program figures out, okay, he's talking about either vehicles, fatalities, or airbag, yes or no. I want to sort by airbag, yes or no. Sort on values, meaning like what's in the column, and then order A to Z. So I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see that all of these data have like stuck together, right? So, so if I go back, okay, I see, for example, the Chevy Astro, 2,065 fatalities. There's no airbag, right? When I sort, so I just hit redo to sort that data point kind of sticks together, right? So it's still the Chevy, still 2065, but there are no airbags, okay? So now we've got it, right? We've sorted, we see all of the no airbags here, we see all of the yes airbags here, okay? So as I told you, or we mentioned, we're interested in one with airbags, one without. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, Command C, Command V, you know what, I'm gonna do it again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, we're going to say no airbag. And sort of a yes airbag. Okay. And now that you've sorted it, you can copy, command C, and paste. And you can do that also uh, down here with all the yeses. Okay. So I cruise down, dragging down, hit command C. I can go over here, Command V. So now I've got my two lists. It's pretty nice that as of 95, more cars had airbags than not. Okay, so once you have arranged your data accordingly, uh, or in a way that suits you, go ahead and save your Excel work here. Save it as something different, like I would say like my name, so like Riley uh, Airbag Excel, okay? Because I'm gonna submit that into the canvas, okay? So once you've done that, uh, go ahead and take a look at the next video and instructions.